Hi, my name is Matthew Jester, and I'm just about to go over a quick video with you um, about hypnotic seals and um, also how hypnosis is inhibiting my ability to speak. So I'll go ahead and show you real quick my certificate of completion of my hypnosis course, just showing that I'm certified and competent in the field of hypnosis. Please watch my video, Hypnosis, Abuse, and Speech Inhibition. I will leave a link in the description. I will also leave additional links in the description of other relevant videos. I've been abused with hypnosis, and my ability to speak is being inhibited with, hy with hypnosis, which is why I have to read everything when I make, a vi make videos. If you notice me stuttering, speaking slowly, being unable to speak clearly, or any other difficulty speaking, I explain how this is being done to me in my video, Hypnosis, Abuse, and Speech Inhibition. Also, I will be raising my left index finger whenever the hypnosis is inhibiting my ability to speak so that I can point out the hypnosis inhibiting my ability to speak without interrupting myself in the video. So please pay attention to my body language when I raise my finger because you're, you're most likely going to be able to notice the hypnosis. Alright, so getting started here with hypnotic seals. Just for clarification purposes, demystifying. Hypnotic seals are very real. Hypnotic methods. <clears throat> Even if the concept itself sounds myths, mythical or mystical, like a curse or a spell, it is definitely not. So, in this video, we'll, we'll discuss a concept in hypnosis called a hypnotic seal or even simply known as a seal. Hypnotic seals are post-hypnotic suggestions or hypnotic commands designed to, interfere, to inhibit, prevent, or interfere with hypnotic inductions and or other various aspects of the process of hypnosis. Hypnotic seals are most commonly designed to prevent future hypnotic induction in general or sometimes by specific people. Hypnotic seals are oftentimes used unethically although can be used for ethical purposes such as protecting in a vulnerable individual. I have involuntarily had an extensively elaborate and re relatively discreet hypnotic seal imp imposed on me in an attempt to prevent me from reversing the abusive and dangerous effects of hypnosis that were forced upon me. I've never heard found or heard of any incident where a hypnotic seal was not able to be broken or in other words a hypnotic seal that completely inhibited the hypnotic process and or induction. Hypnotic seals are not common knowledge as there is a significant amount of hypnotists and hypnotherapists that have never heard of a hypnotic seal or encountered, encountered a hypnotic seal although there is a substantial amount of evidence of amount of hypnoth hypnotists and hypnotherapists that are familiar with hypnotic seals. Hypnotic seals used unethically can be absolutely terrifying for victims including myself especially with a lack of knowledge or limited knowledge on the subject. I am not aware of any studies conducted regarding hypnotic seals and exactly how much information is currently available regarding hypnotic seals although I wouldn't be surprised if research in and or information is very limited due to seldom occurrences of hypnotic seals and ethical implications that would be involved in research. I am not certain of the reliability and validity of the resource of it of information I, re I'm, I am referencing, although the general concepts t seem to be correct and logical and the detailed information seems accurate and reliable based entirely off of my current experience with hypnotic seal used on me. Hypnotic seals can be cued and or triggered by specific words such as hypnosis or cued and or triggered in the context of specific situations or circumstances such as, such as when speaking to a hypnotist or whenever hypnosis, hypnosis is being induced. Some examples of the behaviors elicited using hypno hypnotic seals to prevent hypnotic induction include opening eyes, standing up, yelling or shouting, profusely swearing, uncontrollable laughter, uncontrollable crying, aggression, nausea, vomiting, anxiety or panic attacks, sweating, intense itchiness, uh, sensations of hot or cold, and several more. There are multiple tactics hypnotic seals utilize, utilize to prevent hypnotic induction, including interrupting the process of hypnotic induction, distracting attention during hypnotic induction, various methods of sabotaging successful hypnotic induction, interrupting trance, stage, interrupting trance states, preventing the hypnotist from successfully executing a specific component that comprises a hypnotic induction, and making the hypnotist feel uncomfortable or unsafe, hypnotizing the individual, especially if the hypnotist is unfamiliar, unfamiliar with hypnotic seals. A very specific example of a hypnotic seal was instructing the individual to continuously remove an article of clothing each time each time a hypnotist would proceed with the next step of a hypnotic induction until the hypnotist would stop. There are also a variety of methods and techniques designed to break a hypnotic seal or depotentiate and counteract a hypnotic seal. Some examples of methods used to break a hypnotic seal are indirection, which is inducing hypnosis without informing the individual that hypnosis is being induced and using indirect terms and language patterns, which works very well when hypnotic seals are triggered by specific words or phrases because then the seal is never cued during the in induction. Regression, which involves guiding the individual back in 
through time before the seal was ever imposed on the individual, using multiple hypnotists to facilitate the hypnotic induction, and using inductions that focus attention on the kinesthetic modality, which prevents the individual from being distracted during the induction. I also have undeniable, un, undeniably profound evidence of a very specific hypnotic seal that was used to sabotage and inhibit hypnotic induction in a recording of a hypnotherapy session that I will elaborate in detail in another video, <clears throat> and I will that um in another video that I will make and I will post the link in the description. All right, thanks for watching the video.